Criminal charges are dismissed against two Baytown police officers accused of beating and tasing a man back in 2019. Fox 26's Randy Wallace now joining us live from the courthouse tonight after speaking with that victim. Randy. Yeah, Anthony. Now, in an agreement with the DA's office, former Baytown officers Teddy Sims and Samuel Surrett can no longer be police officers here in the Lone Star State. What's going on? I'm taking Beaten. I was choked. Tased, you know, over and over. A body cam video was released of the July 2019 arrest of Kedrick Crawford. There is a video that's not public right now, and you can see, in fact, that he's not resisting. We asked attorney U.A. Lewis how the video not made public compares to the version given to the media. I would compare it as a PG video versus X. Didn't beat the pants off him. Crawford saw the unreleased video for the first time before speaking to us. Very disturbing, horrifying. It was just a full mask of blood over his face. His eyes protruded from his face like the size of golf balls. In July of 2021, former Baytown cops Teddy Sims and Samuel Surrett were charged with aggravated assault. The district attorney had to make a decision whether to go to trial or to make a plea deal. By agreeing to not ever being Texas law enforcement officers again, the charges were dismissed and can be expunged. I think it's sad. I think it shows a fact that some people's lives are, are more valued than others. Some people's rights are more valued than others. Now, I have as much fear as the system, actually even more now than I had the night that they jumped on me. Sims and Surratt didn't spend one day in jail. Unlike Mr. Crawford, who was charged with a felony of assault of a public servant when he was arrested for scratching them with his, fin his fingernail. That charge against Crawford was dismissed. He has an ongoing civil suit. Now, in a statement, the DA's office says, quote, we have sympathy for the victim in this case. These are notoriously difficult cases to prosecute. Now, while he can no, while they can no longer be officers here in Texas, that does not mean they can be police officers in other states. Reporting live at the courthouse, Randy Wallace, Fox 26 News.